PowerShell does have a number of commands that are designed to work with variables. Um, you don't typically see people use these very often because PowerShell provides a more ad hoc way, which I've used in the, the rest of the demonstration videos for this chapter. But if you do decide to use these, it's worth reading the help. For example, let's take a look at remove variable. Uh, this deletes a variable. That's different from clearing it out. It means it actually takes it out of PowerShell's variable storage. The name property accepts the name of the variable, and this is where people can mess up a lot. For example, if I say remove variable name dollar a, this is not going to remove the variable named a. It's going to remove the variable named whatever is contained in a. See, by using the dollar sign, I'm telling the shell, I want to access whatever's inside the variable. If I wanted to remove the variable named a, I don't use the dollar sign there. Of course, there is an easier way. Um, as you know, you can already see all of the variables on the variable drive. So I've got x and y there. Um, given that the variable drive is designed to make this form of storage look and work just like a disk drive, well, you might just think of doing this. And that's the same as using remove variable to remove the variable x.